after going to the Vegas in 2015, I try to go to at least an annual conference, whether it's an inspection conference, a business growth conference, because you're gonna it's you're gonna have information overload. It happens. There's gonna be tons of great information that you hear, and I think a lot of what ha- what happens to a lot of people, and fortunately didn't happen to me, because I guess I was at a point where I just I needed the change, right? I needed my my why, my out my my outcome. I needed to do something different. Um, so when you go to those conferences, you're going to have a bunch of information. I always tell people that get two or three things that are going to really drive your business forward from those conferences. Take two, maybe even less than three, one to three things that you're going to come back and you're going to implement the day you get back or, or the next or the day, but don't wait too long because then you'll fall into the routine. We're all creatures of habit. Then you'll fall back into the habits that you were doing. So take very little information. It's going to because it's going to be a lot and take pick maybe on the flight home or the drive home, pick the two to three things, rate them. This is number one. This is number two. This is number three. And only focus on those three things for the next six months to a year and really get good at those and take action. The last thing you can do at a conference is go there, come back and don't take action. My, the, the, if if I'm saying the best quality that I have is I take action whether I'm ready to or not, and an action whether it's whether it's fifty percent ready or hundred percent, um, the fifty percent still better than nothing. And I just took action and just hired people. And it was funny because I hi- I was hiring people probably the first three or four people maybe five people I hired next. I didn't they didn't have the right hiring paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> they, I wasn't keep. I wasn't making copies of their driver's license, passports, all the stuff you're supposed to do. I just had never done it before, so I didn't know. I didn't know what was required. I had no HR department. We were the HR department, right? Okay. And as we we hired a lady, um, and she's now like the GM of our company. She got promoted to general manager this year, um, and she called us out. She's like, "Hey, I'm supposed to be filling out this other piece of paperwork, and you're supposed to be taking <laughs> copies of my." my license and stuff. And I'm like, Oh, Oh really? What paperwork do we need? Okay, cool. Um, so that's good. As so you hire people, the more heads you have, the better it is. Right. Um, and so we just kind of learn through it, you know, grow growth exposes your weaknesses more than anything else. Like you think you as a one man shop, two man shop, you got it going on, add three or four or five people and you realize, Oh, I'm actually weak in some areas. And we realized quickly within that year, that 2016 year, oh my God, we we were had scheduling errors. We were miss, not not showing up to inspections. It was like the world was crumbling around around uh, us. Yeah. But and and there was times where like, is it worth it? Oh my God! Oh, what did this guy do? And then you're you're training people, you're managing people. Um, it exposes you, but if you get through that storm, there's going to be another one down the road. But if you can get through the little storms, you become a lot stronger and a lot better because of it. So don't be afraid of the storm because it's going to happen. Even if you ha- think you have it all set up perfectly, you are going to come across obstacles. Um, push through. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Once you get out of the tunnel, you're probably going to go into another tunnel. Um, it just, it's the nature of it. You think it's going to be easy. It's never is, you know, you're, you, as you grow, you realize, wow, I'm dealing with people now. So I'm managing people. It's not just myself. So you have to, you know, ultimately I think as you grow and you take, start taking action, you need to keep growing yourself through whether it's audio books, success principles, um, because that's going to build you up as a leader and the, the the business, whatever you're in home inspections, is only going to be as strong as the leader. Um, and so you gotta you owe it to your people that that you're paying, that are relying on you to keep business coming. You owe it to them to be the leader that you need to be. So don't think, you know, I had in my head, oh, I'm gonna grow this thing and then I'm gonna sit on an island and somewhere and, and I'm just, just gonna run. No, it's not really how it works. Hi everyone, this is Louis from Spectora. I'm gonna put three links down in the description below. 
The first link is for you if you like Spectora, but maybe you just have a couple questions. You can schedule a 15 minute discovery call with someone from our client success team to make sure that Spectora is a great fit for you. It is, by the way. If you're ready to dive in and start using the app, the second link is for our free trial. With the average cost of a home inspection, that's a couple thousand dollars that you'll pocket before you pay us a dime. And the third link is for our Spectora Jumpstart program. If you're a brand new home inspector, you probably need a website, or maybe you have a website that you just kind of threw up real quick and you're not super thrilled with it. In the Jumpstart program, we'll make you a great website based on feedback from you to make sure that it reflects your business, your market, and you. We'll optimize it for search engines and we'll put an online scheduler on your website too so you can spend less time on the phone and more time out in the field working. We'll also bundle it with a full year of the Spector app and we'll do it at a great price too. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you check out other videos on this channel and take care.